Hi guys, Brian here, Big B Rebooted, your favorite fishing guy. Going to take you on another fishing adventure. I'm going to meet up with one of my buddies from work, uh, Dwight, and we're going to fish here at the Racetown Lake Spillway. Fish below, whatever, but I've already seen a decent sized black bass. So hopefully we can get into something today. You know, I'd like a repeat of a couple days ago where I was here and my camera malfunctioned because of the heat. Gosh, I've, I've got a lot, you know, I want to say about that, but I won't. Hopefully we can get into something and I can make you a decent video. So guys, stick around. It's going to be good. See you in a little bit. Yeah, I just... You know, I figured we'd come up here because I know where we're standing at. It's like a a silt deposit, you know. I figure fish around this corner, try to get as far over towards that point as possible and over that way, and then we'll just fish our way down. I am really shocked at the Petersburg Dam. I was all pumped up about fishing there, too. I mean, it looked like there was, well, there's obviously water coming through, you know, the, the turbine side. Uh -uh. No? Uh, if you look up there by the turbines, you see a big cut in the concrete. That's a lot of water from that overflow. Yeah. It comes through there and it swirls right uh, there. It looks like it's water coming. All right. Unless there's holes in it and shit, you know what I mean? All doors are yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little shocked at how high that water and how fast that water was. That's, I've never seen that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have the band done, or did you get where they took part of the stomach out? Actually, they didn't take any of my stomach out. What I had was the the Ruin Y gastric bypass. What? It's called a Ruin Y. Okay. And basically, what what it is is that they go in and take make a pouch about that big in my stomach. They leave my stomach in there, but then they uh, get down about a foot or two or three or what I don't even know how far, and they cut my intestine reattach that to the stomach pouch you know bring the the long end up and then attach it further down and it looks like a y that's what i call it the ruin y i knew they had the band they had the other one where they do the same thing they take half your stomach cut it in half yeah that's the sleeve to it. the band it has a high failure rate i heard that if you start overeating you'll snap it and you know really the one that i had done is like the most common good. you know and that's i would say it's been you successful what you eat how much you eat and well yeah i get in the old habits of eating a whole bag of chips that's just it you know i'm i'm actually allowed at this point to eat anything i want but I choose to stay away from all the junk and and I'm not going to eat. You know, I try to stay away from sugars as much as possible. You look a hell of a lot better. Oh my God, man, I feel better. That's the biggest thing right there. I mean, in all honesty, I've, I've lost 100 and what, 23, 124 That's pounds? It. Yeah. Like I said, when you started first losing weight, you can see it in your face first. Yeah. Well, dude, my, my wife, I said, I to say it, but I said, you can see it in Smitty's you know, face. I said, you can start seeing it in his arms. Then it seemed like a week later, it's like, damn, where does belly go? Yeah. Well, they measure you when you first go in. 
And here just, it was about a month or so ago now, they measured me again. When I first went in, my neck size was 22 and a half. That's pretty big. Big neck, yeah. When they measured me here about a month, month and a half ago, it was 17. Good. You know, it, it's just absolutely nuts, man. Pant size, I've gone from a 56 to a, these are 44s, and I got a belt on, cinched them up as far as I can get it. There's one. Oh, look at you. Choking it down like you're somebody's business. Okay. There you go, guys. He is a freaking monster. These are the type of fish that, you know, you just, you just want to catch. See you later, buddy. I'm using this old, old Nico Helgramite, natural Helgramite that I found in my basement. It's been there since like 1927. Normally, I'd have probably just thrown it away because it's already starting to break down, but seeing how I don't have any more naturals, and that's what I know worked, I'm using them. He's been pressed into service. There you go. There you go, guys. Dwight's got one. There's one. That's a nice one. Oh, look at this one, Dwight. He is a pig. All right, he was in the current, but he's still a decent sized fish. Still a lot smaller than what I was catching the other day. Okay, guys, there we go. There we go. That's what we're after. See you later, buddy. There's another one. He coming right to me. I'm using almost no weight. It's like a 132nd ounce jig head. See, I'm not even working it. I'm just letting it go down the stream. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. Holy moly. Holy moly. Found out what's working. Yeah. Yeah, you're a lot bigger than the other one I just caught. Come here, buddy. And what did I do? There you go, guys. Still not a monster by any stretch, but hey, we're getting bigger, and that's all I care about. See you later, buddy. All I'm doing is just floating it down the stream. That is crazy that this works. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Look at the size of this one. Whoo! I barely had him hooked. There you go, guys. Look at how pretty that fish is. Look at the markings on that guy. Holy cow. See you later, buddy. And here's all I'm doing, guys. I'm gonna show you here real quick if I can if I can do it. All I'm doing is just letting it go. And see how it's staying in the water column? That's all I'm doing. I'm just letting it float as it goes. 
he hit that almost as fast as it hit the water. He just jigged me in the hand too. That kind of hurt, sucker. I'm shocked for hitting the helmet mics this time of year. I know. I am too, for real. Sad thing is, I was just about to give up the other day when I hit that hole. You get them? That's literally right here in front of me, man. Oh, that's a nice one too. That's a pretty fish. What happened? Oh, he got off. He snapped the line. You're kidding me. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, it's funny. We, we kind of, we fished down through here and didn't get hardly any bites. Now we're in just one little section. And just like Dwight had his last one. He snagged that guy, or he didn't snag it. He, he, he hooked that guy about 10 feet from me absolutely crazy but these guys are they're very very aggressive I mean this this Helgramite is just so freaking old that he just doesn't want to stay on I just think it's crazy that you can go and fish and fish and fish and not catch anything go into one little area and start pulling them out. Oh. Got to pay attention, guys. No, he's a nice one. That's a that's a pig, dude. That is a pig. Man, he's pulling a drag and he won't come up. That's what the heck. There he is. Bass? Yeah, it's smally. That's, small. that's a big old, big old girl. Yeah, that's the biggest one so far, Dwight, easily. Ah, and you swallowed it. Told you, that's what they were doing. Come here, nut. Oh, it snapped my line. You son of a gun. He took my natural Helgramite, man. <laughs> Last one. Oh, you dirty. <sighs> well, that happens. I cannot believe that, that that's twice now that I had my line snap. How old's your line? It's <laughs> new line. Guys, I lost my only natural Helgramite. I just had that pig on and <sighs> snapped my line. Snapped my freaking line. I cannot believe it. I'd make a plea to Nico Bates to send me some natural Helgramites, but I think I got a better chance of winning the lottery here tonight Did you get him? Yep. Same thing, I thought I was hung up. That's a decent fish, man. Well, it may have taken us all morning, but we did, uh, we finally got into them. Ah, oh, I missed your release. 
Okay guys, I'm going back to the obsidian. I'm gonna see if this is gonna work. Oh! Zippity doo da, zippity a. That bass took my only natural today. I got a harebrained idea, guys, and I'm gonna try it. I am going to put a little float on. Let's see how that works. Probably like crap, but you know what? Fortune favors the bold. Oh yeah, my goodness gracious, dude. Did you guys see that? As soon as it hit the water, my bulber went down. This guy smoked it. Look at the size of this guy, man. I'm doing anything I can to get it off at bottom. Dude, come on. There we go. Okay, guys. There we go. There we go. He smacked that thing a ton. See you later, buddy. That was crazy. Cause as soon as it hit the water, my bulber went bloop. Blitz got himself a monster. <clears throat> Watch this. Oh. You are recording that, right? I am. I actually caught a fish while being hung up in a tree. And I don't know if you noticed it or not. Do you see the big waves? I spooked something out of there. Okay, there you go, guys. See you later, bud. Oh, I got that monster. Look at this guy. Yeah. There you go. Look at that fella. See you later, buddy. All right. This one's going over by the rocks over if I can get it over there. Ready? Oh my. You? Oh. Nope. <laughs> oh, he's come off. Ah. You did see that, right? Throw it right by that tree. Did I get him? Nope. That's got to be just little guys. Look at this. Do you want a balber? <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> Okay, guys. Oh, see you later there, pal. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap up today's adventure. I had a lot of fun. Dwight, thanks for uh, inviting me, man. I appreciate it. We went out, we caught some bass, uh, caught a bunch of sunfish, 
we were just trying we were goofing there at the end um had a lot of fun anytime you can get to go out and go fishing is a good time especially when you're catching fish so guys i hope you liked the video if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you like the videos i post please subscribe to my channel and until next time keep on fishing